When an older person is at a restaurant or a big family event, they really try their best to understand everything going on, but at some point it just becomes too much and they have shut themselves off from the rest of their family for the rest of that event. That's what we want to stop. In order to understand speech, that sound has to reach your brain and it has to be transmitted correctly. As you age, listening and paying attention becomes harder, especially when there's lots of noise. And Samira had noticed that how well your ears behave turns out not to have that much to do with how well you understand uh, what people are saying, and especially in a noisy room. We feel that merely just making sounds audible isn't enough. We are trying to provide better tools for understanding what's happening for diagnosis. MEG scanner captures the, uh, the signal and then we can analyze that. If we do find that older people have certain types of hearing difficulties, what we want to do is intervene with targeted training strategies. The subjects come here for the first uh, session and then they go through the training session and then again they come back for the second MEG session. Some of it's an auditory cognitive training where you're, you're practicing listening to sounds to people talking in noisy background but also you're being asked not just to understand what they're saying but to be able to use what they're saying which is what we need to do when we're really at a, a dinner or at a, at a party. We had our subject listen to sounds that were heavily distorted. We can really see when certain sounds that are sentences do get turned into meaning. What we can do is we can play those sounds. From the competition, and a wiser man would have despaired. He had, however, we can play what the, the actual, natural, clear, undistorted sound was afterwards. chuckling with the possibility that he might one day just like you can improve physical health through exercise, we want to see if we can induce changes in the way brain is processing sound. Because it's going to help them for better communication. And because when, when you feel that you cannot listen to hear to the other people talking, they, they start being isolated. We're hoping that people will still be willing to engage, that they'll still be able to be an active participant in family conversations, that they'll still go out to the theater and to restaurants and basically have a good quality of life. <laughs>